Hey there, how's it going? It's your muscle building coach Lee Hayward here from LeeHayward.com. And in this video clip, I want to cover one of the most common questions that I'm asked when it comes to weight training, and that's how many sets and reps should you do? I mean, this is a common question that a lot of people have, and every time I post YouTube videos and I show different exercises and stuff like that, I get people saying, well, how many sets and reps? And the problem is, there's no right or wrong answer for this. I mean, there are new set and rep patterns that you can follow and it's going to vary depending on the exercise you're doing, it's going to vary on your goals, it's going to vary on your experience level and a whole bunch of stuff. But one popular set and rep pattern that I want to share with you and it's one that you can try implementing in your workouts yourself is an old uh, set and rep pattern that I got from Vince Gironda. Now you may be familiar with Vince Gironda, he was known as the Iron Guru and he posted, I mean, he had numerous books and courses and he used to publish articles back in the old time bodybuilding magazines, I mean, back years ago. And I grew up reading his column in the magazines and I learned a lot of stuff from him. But one of the popular set and rep patterns that he used to use was the 10, 8, 6, and 15. So basically start off with a set of 10, set of 6, set, or sorry, set of 10, set of 8, set of 6. So you pyramid up in weight, and then at the end, you do a back off set of 15 reps. And this kind of gives you the best of both worlds because you work your way up to gradually heavier weights, and then at the end, you drop back down and you get a high rep burn up set. So this is a great uh, training method that you can implement in your own workouts to really get a good pump in the muscles. So I'm just going to demonstrate using the hammer strength dip machine in training arms. So this is a, my compound tricep exercise for the workout. So this is going to be my first set, set of 10 reps. And I just want to point out that you can use this set and rep pattern, the 10, 8, 6, 15 set and rep pattern. You can use it for any exercise in your workouts. I mean, I just happen to be doing the hammer strength dip machine, but that doesn't mean that it's just limited to this exercise only. You can throw it in with your chest workouts, with your back workouts, legs, arms, shoulders, whatever you're training. You can implement this set and rep pattern in with those body part workouts and with pretty much any exercise. So like I say, it's a cool variation and a very uh, great way to hit the muscles from a full spectrum, getting the heavy weights and the light weights, getting the best of both worlds in there. So I highly recommend you give it a shot in your own training. Alright, so I just did my three pyramid sets, so started off with 10 reps with two plates aside, then did a set of uh, eight reps with two and a half plates aside, and then topped out with six reps with three plates aside. Now I'm going to drop back down to two plates aside again, and I'm going to do 15 reps with this one. So I'm feeling pretty good. The first set of 10 went pretty well, so I think I can probably bang out 15 reps with this one, and this will be my finishing burnout set. Triceps are pumped now. I can really feel that. Like I say, it's an awesome way to structure your sets and reps. It helps spur on new muscle growth because you're going to get slow twitch fibers when you work up to the heavy weight. And then as you uh, do your back off set, your higher rep set, you're going to get some of those. Uh, I think I screwed that up. I think fast twitch fibers with heavy weights and the slow twitch fibers with the lighter weights. But again, you're working through a full spectrum here and that's what makes it so effective. So if you're looking for some variety in your workouts, give the 10, 8, 6, 15 rep pattern a try. I mean, even if you're doing the same exercises, just changing up the sets and the reps like this can help spur on some new muscle growth. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe.
subscribe to the video channel if you haven't already done so. And if you want to get some more information about Vince Geronda and some of his wild and crazy training methods, then check out the link right below the Vince Geronda program. It's like I say, it's worth the read. It's a fun book that covers some of the old school training tips and tricks that the guys used back in the pumping iron days. So again, check that out. Have yourself a good one. Take care. And if you'd like to see some other unique exercises and workouts from Vince Geronda, the Iron Guru, then just click on the links that I have posted here in this video because I have several videos where I actually go into detail with several of the moves and workouts that I learned from the Vince Geronda program. And again, if you want to check it out for yourself, just click on the link right below this video clip and head on over to VinceGerondaProgram.com and you can download a copy of that for yourself. Like I say, it's a fun read and it's worthwhile. I think you'll really enjoy it.